The Carrier Dome has sold out for today's intersectional battle between two top 20 teams as Fit Frank Florida meets the 18th rated Orangemen of Syracuse. And here come the Gators. Unbeaten in their first two outings, explosive team here at the Carrier Dome. First two games. New coach Paul Pascalona. This is Ryan Rulin. Will be kicking off for the Florida Gators. Syracuse won the toss. They elected to receive. Padre Ismail is back deep along with Terry Richardson. It's going to be Richardson at the five yard line. And it's a reverse handoff going to the far side of the field to Kirby Dardar. Dardar is out of the Florida area at a 50. He may go all the way. Kirby Dardar breaks him out of Tampa, takes it all the way. Touchdown, Syracuse. And how do you end up here? Point after attempt now. John Biscop. It was perfect, 8 of 8 prior to that one, makes it a 7 to nothing game. And this crowd, a sellout crowd in the Carrier Dome. O'Neill last year had 47 of his 67 kickoffs not returned. This is Harrison Houston, and he'll down it. The junior, who was the SEC Player of the Year, he'll be the man at the controls. He has an offensive line in the running back department that has a lot of weapons. Red, 170 yards last week. McNabb, solid fullback. Jackson, who was a former fullback, now playing tight end. Cal Dixon is probably the best center in the country. They have four starters back in that offensive line. This is Rep. And Rep. Face mask. Rooks, they feel he has an NFL future. Mitchell, very focal in the middle. Lasardi. Taking the place of Dan Conley, who they lost down. for the year with a knee injury. And Dwayne Joseph already has two interceptions. He is another Florida product out of Miami. <laughs> Penalty moving it out to 30-yard line. First down. Shane Matthews in trouble. Breaks one tackle and he's stormed at the 20. Kevin Mitchell, loss of nine on the play. Just outside the 20-yard line. Very unusual beginning to this game. Handoff and no place to go. As Third down, 15 yards to go. 7 0 Syracuse. Matthew with some pressure. Far side. Houston check that Trey Everthy now. Not an exceptionally good punch. And it does not take a gator bounce. It's going to go out of bounds at the 43 of Florida. Marvin Gray, last week, career high 251 yards passing. Has Gedney, the tight end, lined up to the near side. That's at Free's option. Pitches back to Walker. He fortunately retrieves it. And Walker somehow gets back to the line of scrimmage. As you look at Marvin Graves, there's the 251 yards we talked about. He's committed six turnovers. That's a great concern to the Orangemen. Wooten, a big, bruising fullback. Ishmael, that's the Rockets' younger brother. Shelby Hill, J.D. Hill's son. Up front, only one returning starter from a year ago. That's Terrence Wisdom, the 296-pound guard. Second down, virtually 10 yards to go. Graves going to pull up and throw. Ishmael, and Ishmael picks it to the 25-yard line. There's that defense. Watch Culpepper. He is something special at defensive tackle. And when you talk about linebackers, I'll tell you, John and I have talked about Tim Polk all week long. He is absolutely one of the most ferocious players you'll see in college football. And in that secondary, Will White, who just made the tackle, had seven interceptions a year ago. First down to the 26 of the Gators. Graves. This mile again. And he is very close to the first down. Six seconds on the play clock. Five with four with three. And now goes on the option. And hurdles inside the 
15 to the 13 yard line. Roger, thank you. Boy, Jackie Sherrill's team going on the road for the first time, but they gave the balls a scare, didn't they? They certainly are for real this year. Second down and seventh for the Orangemen. Quarterback draw. Graves takes it to the 10. He's still three yards short of the first down. Third down and four, just short of the 10 yard line. Here comes Graves on the option. Pitches to Walker, to the five. Walker, touchdown. Well, that's what make, uh, Graves is such an exciting player. He does that for them, and Syracuse won both games. Visca, right after attempt. And a stunner here early. Fifth right Florida finds themselves down 14 to nothing. And we still have 10 Here's 49 left touchdown. to go. Watch the pitch and watch a tremendous clock by Shelby Hill. Harrison Houston and Larry Kennedy back for the Gators. Look at this kickoff. Does he get into them? They'll get on it, down it, and Florida. Matthews. Correct. Very correct. Weaving his way out to play by Cal Dixon at center. Second and eight. Play action fake. Over the middle to Rep. Coming out of the backfield. Trying to get the first down. He's very close. First down from the 30. Matthews with time. And he connects. Alonzo Sullivan to the 50. First down to the 48 of the Orangemen. From the 49 of the Orangemen. Florida in the Syracuse end of the field for the first time. Complete to wreck. And coming out of the backfield, he makes the catch. Inside, nine minutes to go in the first quarter. The Orangemen of Syracuse. 18th rank, leading 14 to nothing. Pitch to Rhett. And Rhett has a first down with good effort. Rhett comes out. Willie McClendon replaces in the tailback. First down. Matthews, far side. The intended receiver is McClendon with Tony Rao, the offensive tackle. Second and ten. Being flushed out, Matthews, he's not known for his running. JoJo Wooden got a hand on it. Third and ten for the Gators. Three wideouts on the play. Matthews to McClendon. McClendon to the 25. First down to the 19. Attic. First down now to the 19. Hand up to Rhett. And Rhett takes it inside the 15. Close to the 11-yard line. And a drive of 63 yards. Giving him a 14 to nothing lead. Here's a give to Rhett on second down. And first down, you saw the stand a moment ago, how effective Florida is in the red zone. That's the 20-yard line in. Pitch to Rhett. Pitch cut inside the 10. Boy, it's noisy in here, isn't it? Oh, it certainly is. And Matthews is trying to change the play. And two seconds on the play clock. Going to the end zone. Everett, touchdown, Trey Everett. That ball was beautifully thrown. And Trey Everett with his second touchdown catch of the season. He just disappeared from our sight. Skip two of the fine place kickers in college football, and he adds a point after it. So we've had a lot of football. 6.08 still left in the first quarter, and Syracuse leads it by seven. Ryan Rulin will kick off again. This time, it'll be Ishmael. Up the middle this time, and a big hole. Out to the 33, and their kickoff. Graves is back in. That's good news for Syracuse. Pitch to Richardson. Out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And Richardson gets some good yards. Yeah. Return to kickoff, 31 yards. Ishmael became Syracuse's all-time kickoff return leader. This time, Wooten, a big, burly fullback. Third and one for the Orangemen. Walker, Richardson in there. They have the bone this time. They go to the wishbone. Wooten is the man who is in the front of the bone. Flags everywhere. As they hand off to Walker. Now he got enough for the first down. 
That's Ishmael in motion. Graves wanting to throw. Culpepper giving chase. And Jennifer Hill and a flag. Larry Kennedy was his two to start it. Defense, 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. But Syracuse started slow last week, but they've reversed that today. And off to Richardson. Kerry Richardson, the 202 pound sophomore. Gain of two, second and eight. That's Gedman, the tight end in motion. Graves in trouble. Just no place to go that time. And the reason is Brandon. They have a trips formation, three men at the top of the field. And now Shelby Hill comes in motion to the near side. Graves back. Off the hands of Ishmael, almost intercepted. Excellent effort by Dell Spear. Back deep is Monty Duncan. And he will not return that one. Let's see where they're going to mark it. As it goes out on the far side, they're going to mark it to the 15-yard line. Tonight, they held Stanford to 28 yards. Matthews over the middle. Complete to McNabb, the fullback. And he lunges forward for a gain of six. He's the left guard for Florida. First of foul. During the pass. Offense. Out the distance for the goal. So the penalty now brings up second down. 18 yards to go. Matthews from the end zone. A little pitch pass to Rett. He goes nowhere. As Glenn Young. Second and 21 from the five. Keep in his own end zone. Out it comes, and he gets out of a big hole complete to Rhett. This crowd is on their feet. This handled snap. I think Matthews got it back. But it will be fourth down in turn for a touchdown last week. Beautiful punt. Hill driven back inside the 35. To the 45 and tackle there. That was a 55-yard punt that time by Ed. We'll be back. He has not thrown a pass in two years. But he is so quick. He only weighs 166 pounds. Here he comes on the option. He's got Walker behind him. You see his speed, and with speed, gets across the 50 to the 49. That was five yards on sheer speed. Second down, five for the 49 now. And here is Womack, almost got mixed up. Pitches back. That's not going to throw. Wide open, Shelby Hill. He can't get it. Oh, the play. Throwing the pass. Brings up third and five now from the 49 of Florida. And Graves is back in the game. Yep. The emotion now goes Hill. Graves stepping up. Nice catch by Ishmael, but it's short of the first down. Look at Duncan goes back for the Gators. He's angling for the corner. And I don't know where they're going to mark this one. They're walking up. Mitchell continues to walk across the 10. Still walking. To the 15, the crowd booing as he continues up. And comes to a stop from the 18, the Gators. McClendon and Kelvin Randolph in the backfield. Matthews on target. Alonzo Sullivan takes a real shot. First down to the 31. 14 to 7, Syracuse in the lead. Matthews back. This time it's Randolph, the fullback. Makes the catch at the 35. And Hand off to McClendon. McClendon just short of the first down. Third down and two officially now for the Gators. McClendon. And he's got the first down. Lord, the head. They can run it. Most people think of their offense as passing only. Matthews back over the middle. It's McClendon again to the 50. And there's no question Florida to the 46 of the Orangemen. Matthews getting time. Sullivan. Did he get it? They are going to rule. He caught it. Alonzo Sullivan, a nice diving catch from the 35. The Gators after that 12-yard gain. Matthews, Monty Duncan, intercepted, Matamora, Tony Matamora. Raves tackled at the 26, as the ball went off of Monty Duncan. Raves is the quarterback. 14-7, Syracuse with the lead. 11 minutes left in the first half. Graves throwing, catch by Hill. Nice catch by Shelby Hill. That crowd has been excitable ever since. Here's a pass now by...
by Graves almost picked up. Second and ten. Graves, sprint draw. Looking. Complete to Gedney. And Gedney has the first down. Has been, been moved to the starting right offensive tackle spot. First down after 12-yard gain. Here's a handoff to Richardson. Richardson for six. I'm just keeping it flex like this. Second down, six. Graves, Hill, wide open. First down and wrestled backwards, but they'll give him the first down. His dad, J.D. Hill, a great receiver for Arizona State and the Buffalo Bills in attendance. We saw him before the game. Hand off to Richardson on the first down. He's to the 30, to the 25, and bends it for a first down to the 22. <laughs> Gain of 13 from the 23-yard line. Hand off Richardson, and Richardson stopped at about the 20-yard line. Here's a blitz. Graves. Catch is made by Antonio Johnson, the Big East indoor sprint champion. Gedney and Barker, double tied into alignment. First down outside the 10. Graves, and so Richardson to the five. Maybe not quite to the five. Five seconds on the play clock. On the second and six with two, and all kinds of movement. Sometimes you should just take the timeout. This is Johnson in motion. Graves on the option to the short side of the field. Takes a real shot from Myrick Anderson. Vicious hit. Johnson Hill to the top of the picture. Graves trying to get the corner. He has the right corner to the far side. Touchdown catch by Antonio Johnson. What a play. This is similar to the play that Trey Everett ran for a touchdown. And it's a 20 to 7 game. This could point after. And 21 to 7. And the Syracuse team, who last week started so slowly against the Terrapins of Maryland, have come out of the chute. And they have stunned this Florida team. Houston and Larry Kennedy will receive the kickoff from O'Neill if he keeps it in the field of play. And this one will be. Kennedy, the true freshman, out of Sarasota. Brings it up to the 27-yard line. We know that they can score points in the third quarter. We saw it last week. And they've been a great second-half club. They scored in the first four possessions last week against Alabama in the second half. Pass to McNabb, the big fullback, and he just runs all the way to the Florida end of the field. Finally out of bounds, like he wasn't even there. Going to draw a handoff to Rhett. And Rhett gets a couple of yards. Harrison Houston's put to the near side. Four wideouts. Matthews with time and a nice catch by Sullivan. His third of the game for Syracuse. Ten-yard gain on the last play. Matthews going deep. Catch is made. A remarkable catch is made by Aubrey Hill. Touchdown. What a catch. Now, wait a minute. The officials are going to confer on this one. We'll see the replay, and the discussion may be whether or not he goes out of bounds and comes back uh, in to catch the catch. Pass. He did. The receiver went out, out of bounds, came back in, and caught the ball. The penalty is previous spot, lost it down. Well, they wipe it off, forget the touchdown. Matthews back. In trouble. And that is Garland Hawkins from the sack. Third down now, 15. Matthews on the play action. Got a lot of time overthrown and almost intercepted. Ceiling as now edges in to punt the football. Hits it high. Shelby Hill going to let it hit. And Florida, did they save it? No, they did not. Marvin Graves and the Orangemen leading by 14. 314 to go in the first half. Kevin Barker, the tight end, goes in motion. And up to David Walker. Second down, six. Graves. And it up to Walker. To the 45. He's to the 50. And David Walker 
eventually. We might have a down by Harvey Thomas. We saw it earlier. Way hit out of bounds. 15 yards. First down. Parker, four carries, 41 yards. First down, tack on 15 more. In the round reverse, Ismail. He's got the move. He's to the 25, to the 20, and out of bounds at the 16 yard line. During the run, clip. Offense, 15 yards from the spot of the clip. First down. So it was not on Wooten, but it was a clip at the 40. Here is Lomack, Lomack who's checked in, a quarterback. you got to watch for him. They'll sneak him in. And so it'll be interesting to see what they call here. They try to position themselves or whether they're still thinking six. Graves. He's gone for all of it. Touchdown. Ismail. Once again, Syracuse caught Warren in the blitz, man-to-man -man situation. Lawrence Hatch on the coverage, single coverage. If you live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. Tries to get a hand check on Ismail, but it doesn't, doesn't work. And there's no substitute for speed, and that's a perfect wow. example of it right there. You can see why Ismail was the Big East indoor hurdles champion, the way he was running there. Vishka adds a point after, and this is a shocker. A real shocker. 28 to 7. O'Neill kicking off to Houston and Kennedy. A little mix up, but it'll be Harrison Houston. And he's out to the 25 yard line. Well, Florida last week played very well in the second half against Bama. They're going to have to do it today. Pass to Harrison. Five yards, six, seven, nine yards on the play. Minute seven left in the half. Complete to McClendon. And that'll be a first down, and he gets out to the 44-yard line. 56 seconds. Complete to Hill, who had the touchdown taken away a while ago. Second down, two, a gain of eight. Blitz coming. Over the middle, almost intercepted. Sandquist. They have to convert the first down here, too. Third and two. He got it. It's Rhett. And Rhett gets him within field goal range as he goes down at the 31. No huddle offense. They can move the length of the field in a hurry. Mishandled snap from center. Flag on the play. Matthews just throws it away with 25 seconds left in the half. Matthews a flag. And he's going to be sacked. Kylan Hawkins was there first. Also Ernie Davis Brown. 28 to 7. Syracuse of the lead. Matthews, very cool, throwing far side. It's Hill again, and Hill caught it this time. And this one will stand. Shane Matthews took a real shot. He's getting up slowly, but he'll be all right. And they go right back to Hill, the same place, almost identical play, and this time it counts seconds left they get on the board they add the point after and it really changes the game to be down by 14 instead of three touchdowns he's playing an exceptional game today out of a knuckleball Ishmael will come up with it and he's still on his feet 35 40 what a first half he's had he's tackled at the 40 yard line and that brings us to the end of the first half first half it's been the orangemen of Syracuse who led 14 to 7 after one quarter now leading it 28 to 14 the orangemen right now in an upset mode over fifth ranked Florida no one proved they can stop anybody both teams have executed flawlessly on offense with the exception of one interception thrown by Shane Matthews O'Neill kicking off it's going to be Harrison Houston. He'll take it out of there. Houston runs into a lot of trouble. He probably should have downed it for the touchback. So Matthews in a catch-up mode for the Gators. Complete to McNabb, the fullback, and he's dragged down. Rep in the backfield. Hand off now to McNabb, the fullback, and he's going low or nowhere. I'm not sure. Third down. Eight yards to go.
Matthews wide open. Harrison, he takes a shot from Tony Jones, stays on his feet. The 6-4. Matthews on that third and eight, able to deliver. He just got rid of that one. And as Steve told us yesterday, he thinks he'll be the best quarterback he's ever had. And he's had some good ones. Yes, he has. Second and ten. On target to Sullivan is having a big game. There's the distribution. Eight to the running backs, and look how they've gone to the wide receiver. As Shane Matthews trying to sneak for the first down. That's all he won out of your quarterback in a, in a high-powered passing game like Florida. First down at the 48 of the Gators. Matthews a time over the middle, and there's the tight end, Terrell Jackson, dropping it. Ascalone, who was the defensive coordinator before taking over the head job, talking to Wooden on the sideline. Up the middle, and it's dropped. Andre Hill had it for a moment. Third and ten. Far side, intercepted. That is Dwayne Joseph, his third interception of the year. And he makes the interception. A good heads-up play by Joseph. From Carroll City, Miami, Florida with the interception. Here's a give to Walker. Boy, I love to watch Walker play. Total yards. Florida the better of it there. Graves to Walker again. Who prior to that carry had five carries for 46 yards. And everybody jumping up on the line now for Florida. Eight-man front. Graves pitching back to Richardson. The chase is on. He's got the first down. Diving forward. Richardson with that carry now has 35 yards for the day. First down at the 46. Ooh, no place to go for Wooten. And Marvin has worked uh, very hard in the past week or so to try to get those things corrected. And obviously that hard work has paid off. Here is Walker cutting against the grain with a 45, the 40 still on his feet. And eventually knocked out of bounds at the 33. Bottom. 71 for the day. Average, as you can see, just over 10 a carry. Ishmael in motion. Straight ahead, Wooten. Second down now, seven. Syracuse with a 28-14 lead. Walker in motion. To Walker. He's tough to him in. Finally just ran into about 12 bodies. Walker and Richardson come into the backfield. Getney, the tight end, comes to the near side. Inside, eight minutes to go in the third. Three, three, Graves in the near side, throwing to Walker. He pulled it down twice. This will be a 45-yard attempt. We saw him hitting him from as far out as 55 yards in free games, so there shouldn't be any question about the leg strength on this kick. Mark McDonald, one of the captains of the team, in the hole. The ball is down. He's got a lot of leg. Is it down the middle? No, it's wide to the left. Ball had a funny look when it came off his foot. At the beginning of the first half, it's really would have changed the complexion of this game. So Matthews is back after suffering the interception of the last drive. Passes to Rhett coming out of the backfield. He breaks the tackle to 45, and he's to the midfield strike. John, an update on that Illinois-Houston game from Roger Twible. Here is Matthews back. Over the middle. Caught by McClendon. Lasardi went up. Fake. And Matthews got rid of it as George Rooks downs him and now a flag. Dumping the pass, which uh, Shane Matthews down, did. Oh, the penalty moves it back to the 45 of Syracuse. Second down now. Long ways to go. Second and 25. Matthews trying to come right back to McClendon. Ball is fumbled. I think Florida got it back and they did. Oh, boy, Rogers had a big win for Larry Marmee. Back to throw is Matthews. Pressure coming. He gets rid of it again. Glenn Young sacks him. There's no intentional grounding. Bob Grosner is back for Syracuse on this punt. Off the side of the foot of Shane Edge, but it's going to hit very well and be down to the eight-yard line. Marcus Lee is in at fullback along with Terry Richardson. And all of a sudden, the ball comes loose. The exchange, I don't think, was ever made. Really a peculiar play. Well, trying to run that freeze counter play that he runs. And 
Florida got it. Line of scrimmage, the seven. First and goal, Florida. Big break for the Gators. Matthews to Rhett. Rhett to the five. Maybe inside the five. Matthews. Touchdown catch, Willie Jackson. That is his fourth touchdown catch of his career on only five passes. That's amazing. 20 the count. Point after by Krzyzewski. And it's now 28-21. So the turnover. Florida capitalizes in a hurry, and they're down by seven. Along with Terry Richardson. Ishmael will go back and not bring it out. So from the 20-yard line. Ishmael, he caught it on the rebound, didn't he? I think he caught it on the rebound. He did. Ishmael, that ball was threaded through there. It hit him on the face mask, and he just stayed with it. Del Spear in coverage. Wow. He finally wraps it up there. That is concentration, huh, John? Yes, it is. Gain a nine on the play. Going for the first down as Marcus Lee. He's still on his feet. First down. The 37. Gray's pulling up, and he's dropped. Didn't have time that time because Brad Goldbecker. Second down, 13. Both Richardson and Walker in the backfield. Graves stepping up. Ishmael. Nice catch. First down. And Ishmael seems to be all right. Here goes Womack. Look at his quickness. 45, 40. And almost to Todd. He has the first down. Oh, it's going to be an option. This time, straight ahead is Marcus Lee. And a big fullback. X tailback. The inside linemen, Jerry Sharp, John Regan, and Terrence Wisdom are doing an outstanding job. 15-yard gain. Hand off again to Lee. Lee this time able to negotiate the 20-yard line. I wonder if they're going to try something off the option here. Romack gives off to Lee, and Lee is really giving him a lift of the wishbone. Romack on the option on a third and three. He's got it. And still on his feet to the five. First and goal. And time has expired at the end of the third quarter. 28-21, Syracuse in the lead. We'll return with more action between Florida and Syracuse after this message and a word from our ABC station. As he goes to the bone. Hand off to Wooten, fighting for the goal line. Look at this drive. Second and goal. Womack keeping. Touchdown. Oh. Looks like Edwin Moses on that one as he goes in. <laughs> Terry Richardson again on that lead quarterback option. High school game. Point after attempt now. Biscuit. And Syracuse is back on top by 14. Amazing game thus far. 35-21, Syracuse. Syracuse with 175 yards rushing thus far. Kicking off is O'Neill, and he gets into this one. Oh, out of the back of the end zone. That's where we are now with 14-12 left in the game. Matthews back. And this will get him back in a hurry. Willie Jackson on the receiving end. Breaks the tackle to the 50 to the Syracuse 45. Matthews going to be a busy guy in the last 13 plus minutes. From the 45. Play action fake. Pressure coming up the middle. He had to get rid of a Lasardi. was in his face. They got some confusion here offensively. Finally, Rhett gets in the right spot, as does Sullivan. Matthews back to throw. Going down the middle. Ball was broken up, Greg Walker defending on the play. The watch Walker time is junk. We understand he's their best cover guy. There might have been a little interference called there, but you don't get the call at home. Three yards out. 
third and ten. Matthews. Complete. Now Houston, the ball comes loose, ruled incomplete. What a shot Harrison Houston took. They're going to put the return on. Edge. Fair catch called for. Hill's going to let it hit, and it will make it in for the touchdown. With 13-22 to try to get back into this one. Turn it around as they're being upset by the 18th ranked team for the Big East Conference. Richardson being chased by Robinson, and he got a first down. That was a big question mark. The inexperienced offensive line, only one starter returning. Handoff goes to Marcus Lee, along with this guy, Gray. That's a great situation to have. Second and seven. Grace pulls up, Gidney, he made the catch, and that'll be a first down. First down, 11.56 left in the game. Gidney split to the near side. Here's Womack on the option. He's got Nielsen blocking ahead of him, and he gets to the 45, and it'll be shot backwards. Uh, it's a gain of four. After wins over Vanderbilt and Maryland. Taking on the Gators today. Hand off the lead. Nice spin move, and he's very close to a first down. First down at the 48. Richardson. Good take work. As he takes it to the 45. Richardson has 50 yards on nine carries. Second down, seven. Richardson again. Another first down. And right now, first down at the 37 of the Gators. There's a blitz. Richardson breaks the initial tackle. And Second down, 11. Changing the play. Gives off to Richardson up the middle. 25 to the 24. Womack stays in as they go to the bone. Almost mishandled the snap. Gets it off to Richardson. Being chased by Bartley. Got the corner. And he's out of bounds at the four. Let's see where they're going to mark it. Don't you? I love the way Pasqualoni is alternating his backs. Yep. Here's Walker speaking of alternating. Second and five. Womack giving up. Double tight end alignment. The bone. The wishbone is in. We got an option the short side. And Womack, did he get it? Did he get a first and goal? First and goal at the two. Movement. Capitone. Dead ball foul. All stats. Offense. Five yard penalty. Repeat the down. Now West Virginia. Now we have an update on that leading Maryland big. After the penalty, second and first and goal from the seven. Give to Richardson and Richardson dances inside the five. The cut you were talking about. Second and goal from the four. And in trouble is Gray. And the reason he's in trouble is Tim Paul. Three wideouts. And a change of cadence by Gray's inflation. Dead ball foul. Upside. Defense. Third so now it's third and goal from the eight yard line. Quarterback draw, and Gray's maybe got a yard. Good reaction. Biscuit missed one from 45 yards earlier, his first miss of the year. This will be for 25. McDonald to hold, and this kick is up. It's good, and that's a big field goal. They have to score three times now, Florida does, as they now trail 38-21. The old UPI ranking. Houston and Duncan back to receive the kickoff from O'Neal, but there'll be no return. Pulls out that pennant chase as they defeat Toronto for nothing. Matthews comes out throwing. Harrison Houston tackled it. It's the most points Florida has given up since last year against Tennessee on October 13th when they gave up 45. And here, good ball foul. All stars, offense, five yard penalty. Saw it second and 12 after the five yard penalty. Matthews flushed out and he's going to be thrown for a loss. Lusardi was in that pile. Third down, 25. And they 
got the play clock expiring. I've done several basketball games here, Jim Beheim's team. First time for football, and it is noisy. Here's Matthews up the field, and I don't think... 3.28 left, no real pressure put on. Nice punt. Shelby Hill to midfield strike. And he's going to be knocked out of bounds at that point. First down now from the 50-yard line. Graves is the quarterback. 3.17 left in the game. They'll give off to Marcus Lee. Lee spins for three yards. And here they are going to win this football game 38 to 21. Second and seven. Antonio Johnson will go in motion. Graves to Walker. Walker penetrates the third and five. Walker now with 78 yards rushing. And it's going to be Walker again. And he's about a yard short of the first down. A punt by O'Neill. Good one. He booms it. He rocks it into the end zone. Matthews, but a busy guy today, coming back in at quarterback. No, Brian Fox is the new quarterback. Fox, a Purdue transfer. That was basically the big question mark was that offensive line, and they proved themselves today. Pass comes out to Kelvin Randolph, and he'll bring it out to the football. Here's Brian Fox, who had an outstanding freshman year at Purdue, airing this one out. Greg Walker to get closest to it. A lot of scoring, a lot of stoppages of the clock. This will be the last play. And Syracuse with a major upset. Syracuse, 38-21. The Orangemen led all the way. Paul Pascaloni is still unbeaten as a head football coach. He is 3-0. The final thoughts here from the Carrier Dome when we return.